Alright, so now I'm going to uh, finish off with some of the exhibits in the uh, Hall of Flight. And uh, unfortunately, these are not very fun exhibits. As you can see, I've already done these exhibits before. I'm refilming them because it took me a long time to finish them because they're kind of not very fun. These ones are just, uh, there's just puzzles. You're not going to be able to talk to anybody like in the other exhibits. These, these exhibits are just plain puzzles. Okay, let's grab a box of matches. And now the goal of this particular exhibit is to show all the various ways that things can fly. But as you saw, there was a fan on in the first room and it blew everything over to this side of the room. Or this part of the exhibit, which isn't fun. So we need to get everything back where it's supposed to go. So let's, uh, you turn off the fan. Then you cut the uh, ropes that are holding the uh, fan in place. Alright, now you can take the kite. And now we turn the fan on. Now we grab the uh, glider and you have to drop it somewhere above this fan here on the ground. Oh, not far enough. Let's try that again. Let's try dropping it somewhere up here. Alright, I'm just... Okay, there we go. There's the spot. Do, 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 do. And now it flies into the next room. Alright, now let's uh, light the matches. Let's light the match. And use it here to get the uh, hot air balloon going. Now in this room, as you can see, our glider, now that we've turned these fans on and taken off the newspapers, the glider is going to be gliding from this fan to that fan to this fan to that fan. It's going to be going back and forth. Good job, we solved that puzzle. And now to solve this puzzle, we just need to anchor the, uh, anchor the hot air balloon. C'est magnifique! Alright, now for the kite. I believe for the kite, we just have to drop the kite on the ground. Oh, let's get my character out of the way. We drop the kite on the ground. Now we're going to take this rope here. Take the rope. Ah! And attach it to the middle of the kite. Now when we turn on the fan, the kite will fly. Kites are the oldest aircraft. The Chinese flew silk kites more than 3,000 years ago. Okay, so last but least, we need to get the uh, Zeppelin flying. Well, let's turn the Zeppelin's uh, air direction to 3. That's its speed. So now that it's moving at a speed of 3... What you have to do is order is to get it attached here. I could be completely wrong. And it looks like I was completely wrong. Alright, let's turn this fan off and try again. the uh, Zeppelin in place, Mick. 
backstory, tell me about the Zeppelin specifically. The ship must be docked with the mooring in the ceiling. The deringable. All right, so basically, um, I think he's saying what I think he's saying. <laughs> Which is, you just got to uh, try a bunch of different places before you find where it is that the airship is supposed to be docked at. There we go! Alright, so there's that exhibit finished. It was kind of, um, yeah, basically just puzzles. And like I said, the uh, next one, same exact thing. More puzzles. No real plotline, it's just going to be puzzles. Now this is about rockets and computers. Uh-huh. Rockets and computers are important for if you want to fly around in outer space. Alright, so the first part of this is just a puzzle. You have to use the buttons to uh, reprogram the screen. And first they want you to show off Chinese rockets. Next we want liquid fuel rockets. Which might be this kind of rocket, I don't know. There we go. And, uh... Maybe this is Von Braun's uh, VT, or V2 rocket. And finally, the multi-stage rockets, which are the uh, ones used in modern space flight. Alright, there we go. That puzzle is solved. Alright, and next is the next puzzle. This one is just a guessing puzzle. It's not very fun. Um... You have to launch the uh, rocket at the uh, proper angles. So let's try 90 degrees. Ah, just missed it. Let's try 135. You have an hour to uh, figure it out, but basically you try all the various degrees until you find the one that works. Simple enough. And the last one, the hardest one of all, is the asteroid field test. And the, uh, the way to get through the asteroid test, I'll show you. It's difficult, but see, we can uh, press left, that will send off the left rocket. Do, then we press down to send it up. And then let's do left, and you'll see what happens. Oh, it must contain at least seven steps, okay. I'm just making up a bunch of steps because the uh, rocket is going to crash. I'm just showing you what this is like. You see, left one, then the bottom one sends it up, and then it crashes. And basically, what I did was guess and check until I found a solution that worked, and it took me a long, long time. But, here it is. Left, left, right, right, down, I'm reading it off the uh, piece of paper in case you can't tell, left, left, then right, 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 is that it 
right, right, right. Up. Left. Left. And down. 